at the very exciting Aero India show and with me is the chief of the RDIS, Christopher. Sir, please tell us something about the induction of the Netra. It's done for the first time. Uh, Madam, Netra is the, not the name yet because uh, we will be finding out a good suitable name. The Netra is the call sign, incidentally. And as of now, we are calling it as AWNC or Flamingo is the name given by the D then chief, none other than uh, Air Marshal, Air Chief Marshal Brown. Now, as of now, this is a proud moment for all of us, both uh, Air Force as well as for the DRDO. We as a joint team, we could succeed in uh, getting this product and it has taken its own time. But however, when we compare to the international standard, we are not late. And not only that, only four countries have done. So we, are, we should admit that, that it is not an easy game for many people to do it. And uh, it is, we could do it, even the design development, the entire thing is definitely getting into the Make in India program and the cost is Tell me something, why did you choose the Embraer to install the early warning uh, and control system? Madam, in all this uh, modification, as you can see that, the top antenna is the huge one which is uh, done in design and developed in the country. And that takes a good amount of time. In addition to that, the certification process is not very easy. The aircraft has to be certified along with the uh, dome, what we call it as a dorsal unit. And that is the reason we have to look for a platform which is already modified. Incidentally, Ericsson's have done with the same platform for their antenna. We are not looking identical. You can keep the both the antennas together and see for yourself. It is not at all identical. But the aircraft people have gone through the change. So they will be in a position to do it much faster and better. That is the reason we chose. So sir, you are saying that you are not late by international standards in introducing our own early warning and control system. So sir, how long did it take you to develop and fully say that yes, it is time for it to be inducted? We got the program in 2004, but we had a, a question mark on the platform itself because we thought that maybe a bigger platform would do. So there was a debate between us and the Air Force. We finally converged together in 2007 on this platform. After the convergence, we have gone ahead within say seven, eight years. And after that, even the evaluation takes quite some time because we have to do it in a summer uh, evaluation, winter evaluation, lay at the high altitude and the, the sea environment. There are so many uh, parameters are to be measured. It takes its own time. It's a normal. Right. So, sir, uh, AOM is famous for which is a made in India product. So are you looking to perhaps market it to outside sources, to other nations, to other uh, companies? Good question, ma Madam, and you will be my ambassador to export it also. As a matter of fact, that we are uh, having another program with uh, Airbus 330 to go for a larger and bigger AVAX because our country has got a need for that. And the Air Force has sanctioned that project. And at la as a matter of fact, uh, even the uh, negotiation for the aircraft is completed. And so six of them will be going for that. In the meantime, this also will serve the Air Force. And if there is any other country is requiring, we will be in a position to do that. As a matter of fact, a couple of years back, onwards, we started going to the air shows outside the country. We have gone to Bagarin Air Show with this aircraft. As a matter of fact, our very key aim is, this is the first one, which is not necessarily the long stay in the Air Force. So why not we export the technology, what we learned? It will not only bring in the money, but also the goodwill in the neighboring areas. AVAX, even in the case of uh, US, as a NATO, they are serving everywhere. So we are having a plan for either to outrage or to serve as a sort of information gatherer and providing. And we have got few countries, like for instance, Peru has showed interest. Like this, some of the countries are interested. We might be in a position to do that. So, that, so that's great to know. And lastly, we keep build, talking about building an industrial complex in India. So do you think the induction today Certainly, along with me, at least 50 odd companies are there. Those pri private companies must be very happy because there is a possibility of much more uh, business through this. Thank you so much, sir. That was the chief of DRDO with me, and it was great talking to him. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.